Hi guys, today we're building a polynomial function visualizer, which was a community suggestion. So thank you for the idea, if you're watching. Let's do the boilerplate really quickly if we can. No, I don't want test. I don't want that. I want methods. Let's go with pain. We'll need width and height. Um, let's go HD. We'll need a canvas, which we can use to draw things. No, nope, not that canvas. The other one. This one. Canvas with height. I'll need a graphics context so we can draw some stuff. Uh, what else do you need? We need a timer. That's for animations. Which may happen at some point. Uh, on update, right? So we've got some kind of boilerplate going on. Um, what else do we need? We want to have some function data. We want to know what a function is. Um, class. Let's call it function data. We're going to assign each function a specific color. And I suppose we want the function itself, which is literally a function that takes one double and returns another double. We're going to have a simple function, um, f of x, let's call it function. And yeah, I think that's pretty much what we need. Let's get us some functions going. Mm. Let's go um, color red and a very simple function, which is basically a line and let's go blue so these are just sample functions I want to test because I know what these look like um, which means I can then see if I've done this correctly uh, let's go green and what else do I know uh, I know what this one looks like so I've got some functions um, which we need to draw So clear the graphics context, then for each function, um, for each x value, uh, yep. Now here's the tricky part, because zero, zero is not in the middle of the screen, which means we have to translate some stuff. Okay. Uh, let's first get our y value, which is going to be function, function, apply x. That's the y value. Uh, we also need to set the color, set uh, stroke, it f color. And then we need to, what? Oh yeah, double. 
we need to do stroke line from okay so we need to store previous x y coordinates and old x zero zero and then old y and then once we're done uh, f old x is x and then f old y is y and that goes from old x old y to x y now we probably don't want to use the entire range because these are pixel coordinates yeah so these are draw coordinates let's go with draw x um, these are maths coordinates so we need to scale them down otherwise it's going to just look awkward um, scaled no, actually let's call this x because and then we get draw x uh, we all want to go from zero well we want to in maths terms we want to go from zero but in pixel terms we want to no, it's the other way around. In pixel terms, we want to go from zero to height uh, to width of the screen because that's how we draw things. In maths terms, we want to go minus half of the width plus half of the width. Yeah. So it's draw x minus half of our width. Yeah. And that's right and then we want to scale this by um, pixels per unit let's go with 40. I want to scale by this value yeah so that makes it smaller we then use this x to compute the y value which is correct but this is now in maths terms we need to scale it up now so we need to use draw y we need draw y and it's this value that gets reassigned and redrawn uh, y needs to be scaled back up now so let's multiply by this it's not that simple though because well for starters y is flipped because we draw from top to bottom in maths terms it's bottom to top so we need to first of all we need to translate it and then we need to flip it yeah it's height minus that and now place it right in the middle so our origin now is going to be in the middle because of this I think that's right and then we draw and then we set it to new okay let's give it a go um, I don't see anything should I be seeing something this thing is going, this thing is working. Oh, rookie mistake. I have not added my canvas to the root. Uh, root get children. Add canvas. okay yeah that's what I expected pretty much so we've got our x which is red which is single line then we got uh, x squared and then we've got x cubed I don't know what that is oh is it because it goes it just wraps when yeah we need to reset we first of all we need because we started zero zero, we don't want to do that. Um, so basically, when 
function aldex is zero and this is zero, then don't draw. So draw when not this. And then I assume when we reach the end, just stop it by doing this. So that should remove that vertical line that we had. Yeah, that looks better. Um, but it's static. We need to make things a bit fancier. Um, and we can do that by adding animation. For animating things, you need some kind of time variable. And that time gets increased by our frame rate, which is 0016, and then 6 recurring, but we don't care about that. And then we need the actual duration. So uh, just call it duration, which is, let's go with five seconds. Duration is, so when t reaches that duration value, we just simply reset t back. And then we need that value to be dependent on duration. So it's max x max draw x is, well, it's width multiplied by the ratio, right? So it's t over duration. And then current t over duration gives us the ratio of the animation. And that should just be cast back to end. And then we use that to do this. So instead of just going up to the entire width, we just go up to whatever the width, uh, the x values uh, get is for that duration. This is actually not very efficient because that's going to clear and then redraw the entire thing. That it's easier to read. So let's go with that. It shouldn't be that difficult to redraw anyway. Yep, it's, it's doing its thing. It's not bad. Let's go. Let's go for fancy functions now. Let's try sine, which is going to be what yellow or dark. Yeah, something dark because we've got white background and dark blue. Might as well do cosine as well. Cosine, which is dark green. I think that just this thing generalizes pretty well if you start adding more functions. Yeah, it kind of works. Um, I don't like the stroke width. Can we change that? Set stroke width, uh, width, line width, okay. Wonder that's why it's line width. Yeah, that's nicer. And then you got various interesting things going on in the middle. And you can do various interesting things like you can offset, uh, Let's go with white, like gray. You can do cosine of 2x to change the frequency. You can add some stuff like that to change the translation um, along the y-axis. That should be reasonably um, general. Well, given that you have one x and then y, one value output. Okay, on that note, I think we are done here. Um, so we've got a simple polynomial function visualizer that takes a function data object and based on that it draws the thing. Uh, if there are any suggestions for future videos, 
feel free to leave a comment or go to the community page and vote there. Thanks for watching.